Right, good morning everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a little bit of an experiment, a little bit of a learning curve for myself, something that I've never done myself before, um, but I'm always up for learning new stuff, so today that is what we're going to do now. Here in the car with me, I have a sheet of this, and you may be asking yourself, is that sandpaper I see? Yes, it is, and this sheet of sandpaper is going to be rubbed on the body of the Mondeo. Now, I'm sitting in the Mondeo at the moment, I've had this car for just over a month, probably a month and a week, month and two weeks, something like that. So let me just explain the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing today. Now, a couple of days before I was meant to get this car, someone out there, because we live in a world of idiots, someone decided to key the drive side of the car all the way from the back, all the way down the side of the car, all the way to the front. Now the key mark all the way down the side of the car is not too deep, which is why I'm gonna be trying what I'm gonna be trying today. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and wet sand and buff and polish the scratch out the side of the car. Now I'm gonna start in one area, I'm gonna start on the easiest part um, and the easiest part to replace if I mess it up, which is a possibility, um, which is the front wing. The front wing has got a good size scratch on it. The doors are a lot harder to replace if I mess it up, but the wing, worst case scenario, if I needed to, I could change the wing out for a new one or paint it or whatever I needed to do to make it better, I could do that. So I'm gonna start on the wing and I'm gonna attempt today to get out a key scratch in the car. And if it works, and if this actually is successful today, you guys will learn something from this as well. There's plenty of videos online. There's lots of people that specialize in sort of body work and body repair and that sort of thing. And there's lots of really detailed videos out there on how to do this. Um, but I wanna just try it for myself today. I wanna see if I can teach myself something new, learn a new skill, and maybe it's something I can use in the future as well. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me. If, if things go wrong, I will still be uploading this video and you guys can learn from my mistakes. So without further ado, I'm gonna get all the equipment I'm gonna need set up, um, get sanding my car. That feels weird even saying that. Get to sanding my car, polishing it up, and see if we can get these scratches out. Every time I go to get into the car, I hate looking at them. You can just see this like definitive line all the way down the car. It makes the car look horrible. It really lets down the drive side of the car. So it's something I've wanted to sort for a while. And today we're gonna attempt to do that. So I hope you guys enjoy watching me sand the Mondeo. Right, so this is the driver's wing. This is the scratch right here. I don't know how well it's gonna come up on camera. There you go, you can see it there. It runs from here, like right near the front of the wing, all the way down to about the indicator right there. And this is what we're gonna be attempting to remove today. Now my fingernail doesn't get caught in it, which is good. So hopefully this will sand out fine. I'm gonna mask up the area. I'm gonna mask up like above and below the scratch. Um, I'm gonna clean the area as well, get all this dirt and grease and stuff off this, make it a nice clean area to work on. And then we'll get our sandpaper out, start attacking this scratch. Um, and hopefully we can get this to completely disappear. Now I'll just show you the rest of the car as well. This is the driver's door. You can see the scratch starts right there goes all the way up, all the way to the handle and finishes there. And then on the rear driver's door, it goes from there all the way to the handle. And then there's a tiny one on the back. Um, I should probably actually start with this one because that's probably the easiest, um, but I'll leave this one to last because this, this panel you can't replace. So I'll, I want to get the technique down first before I uh, tackle this one, but that one's not actually too bad, look, you can see. Right, so I've laid out in front of me on my workbench all the stuff that I think we're gonna need for today. I especially went out and bought some really fine grit sandpaper. So I have got in front of me, this is kind of the order I'm gonna be using it in. I have got some 3000 grit sandpaper, an extremely fine grit there. And then we go even finer over here with a 5000 grit sandpaper. This is gonna be like the finishing paper um, before we start using the products. Then after the 5000 grit, I'm gonna move over to the Meguiar's Ultimate Compound, give it a nice buff with that. I'll also be using my polishing machine, which you've seen me use once before. I'll be combining the compound with the machine and trying to get out any of the fine scratches. I will then move over to my Auto Glim Super Resin Polish, give it a buff of that with the uh, polishing pad that's on it at the minute, this one. And then we'll wax. I don't have any uh, decent wax. I haven't got like a paste wax, which is what you'd usually use. Um, and then I'll seal it up with the ceramic boost from Yum Cars Detailing. That is what we're gonna do. I know there's gonna be a lot of people that are watching this that know how to do this a lot better, um, know better techniques, but this is just what I'm working with. This is the products that I've got. And I'm basically just gonna give it a go. Got myself a nice pretty little chair look to sit on. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna hit it with some of the Young Cars Detail Spray, just get the area clean, um, get rid of all the grease and dirt and anything else that could be on it. The last thing you wanna do is introduce more dirt and cause more scratches, because if there's already dirt on there and you start sanding it, you're gonna cause even more scratches than when there before. The 
way I'm doing this, I've got a sponge, like a dishwash scourer, and then I'm gonna wrap the paper around it. Like so. So you've got like a, a nice flat surface. And then with that, I'm gonna use some uh, soapy water. This is just literally fairy liquid mixed with water um, in a spray bottle. I'm gonna spray that on, spray it onto the uh, paper as well, and just sand it until I can't see that scratch anymore. That's kind of what we're going for. You wanna sand until the scratch is no longer visible. That's kind of what I've learned off YouTube, so let's give it a go. So I've been going at the scratch now for probably a good five minutes. Uh, my arm is absolutely killing me, it's like dead. Uh, but I'll just show you the results so far. I'll just give it a quick wipe down with the uh, microfiber towel, just so you can see. You can see the area that I've sanded. You can see it's all faded all the way along where the scratch is. Um, that's okay, don't be worried about that. That is gonna be sorted at a later date. But I don't know if you can see, the scratch is almost sort of non-existent now. You can't really feel it, I'll show you with my finger finger doesn't get caught in any of it whatsoever there's no sort of uh, deep bits anymore this bit needs a bit more work because I have been concentrating on this bit at the moment uh, this bit needs a little bit more work because you can still feel that bit a tiny bit but other than that it's actually not going too bad so far um, this bit needs a bit of work oh, it needs a bit of work all the way across I'm going to carry on with the 3000 until you can no longer see that definitive line you see that there once that is gone and you can't see that anymore and it just looks like all this faded bit and um, then i'll move on to the 5000 just go over it a little bit with a 5000 um, and then we can uh, try and get rid of this haziness by polishing it up a little bit but it seems to be working so far i'm quite happy with the results to this point here is a couple of spots i don't know if you're about to see it right here where whoever keyed it has like picked up the lacquer and made like a stone chip um, those bits aren't going to be out count unfortunately but if i can get rid of the line and I will be happy. quick little update I've already made my first mistake um, as I said at the beginning this is like a learning process I'm not too worried if I do mess things up and I have messed up one little thing I should have known better um, by the time I didn't realize what I was doing so let me just bring you in here and show you what I mean so this is the area now as you can see the line or the scratch is essentially gone you can't really see it anymore but where I went wrong is on this curve here the body line um, this is an edge so this bit here is an edge as you can see it sort of comes out goes in and this bit right here is the edge and as any of you will know that has done any sort of sanding or bodywork before edges are always very fragile when it comes to sanding you can so easily go through the clear through the paint and down to the primer and that is exactly what I've done I'll try and show you in this spot right here on camera you can see the gray of the primer underneath the blue and then there's a bit here as well where I've gone through the paint uh, down to the primer, which sucks, but that is a learning curve and I now know to stay away from these edges as much as I can. I'll just give you an angle. I've got to stay away from these edges and not put any pressure on these edges as well with the sandpaper because that is exactly what happens right there. It didn't take a lot for that to happen, um, but that's a bit of a bugger. Now the rest of it, I'm gonna hit it with the 5,000 grit, go over what I did with the three, hit it with the 5,000 over the whole uh, area and then we can get to the compound stage because I don't think I want to take this line any further You can still see it really faintly, but you can't feel it at all. So if I hit this with some 5,000 um, I think that's probably as best as I'm gonna get it without going through the clear all the way along here, which won't be good Right, 
right, so after the 3,000 grit and the 5,000, this is now how we're looking. You can see this hazed area along here. Um, I probably should have masked this bit off because this bit didn't really need sanding at all. Um, it's just kind of when I was doing this, I sort of started to hit this bit. So I probably should have uh, masked that off. You can still see my little marks where I went through the paint, which I'm kind of annoyed about. But that's where we are. The, the scratch is almost invisible now. You can barely see it. If I go like that, you can just about see it there. But I'm hoping that with the compound, that'll take out the rest of that. Um, the only way we know is if we just give it a go and see what happens. Right, so next step is to polish. I've got my machine and my Meguiar's Ultimate Compound there. I'm gonna be using this to get rid of the majority of the scratches. Uh, you've seen me use this before on the Corsa, I think it was. I think I used it on the Corsa Bonnet once. I'm gonna give it a go. I still haven't mastered the proper techniques of using this machine, but I'm gonna give it my best shot. I'll go nice and slow so I don't burn through any more of the paint, um, and hopefully we get some good results out of it. So I'm just gonna spray the pad um, on the machine with a little bit of this quick detailer just to moisten up a little bit so it doesn't burn through the paint as quick. There we go. And then I'm just gonna add um, like four or five drops of this on the pad as well. Right, so this is after um, the machine polish. So this is with the just the compound, Meguiar's Ultimate Compound. Uh, the scratch is still there. You can see it in the camera right there. I don't think I wet sanded it enough. However, look at the colour of the car. If the camera will pick it up, look at the reflection in the rest of the paint, like the paint which is good. I machine polished all this. Look at the reflection in that. The flake as well. The camera won't pick it up, but the flake in that it's so vibrant really really blue that ink blue really pops once it's been machine polished looks so good i think the scratch you can still see it there you go at certain angles you can still see it there and you see it a bit this side as well so it hasn't gone but i do think it looks better i'll put it side by side i'll put it before and after i do think i've made an improvement however it's definitely not completely gone which i'm a little bit disappointed about but this is all a learning experience like i said so i don't know what this patch is here either you can see like that reflection there i don't know that's not where i've gone through clear i think that's like an imperfection in the actual factory paint which is weird you see that flake look at the sparkle in that the flake so good Right, so it's now the turn of the super resin polish. I'm gonna use this polishing pad like I used before. Just do a few dabs on that like I did the other stuff um, and just give it a final polish. So it's just a quick little shot again. This is after using uh, the super resin polish with a polishing pad. You still still got that lovely sheen to it. Um, this mark here really annoys me. The where I've gone through the paint there. Don't know how well you can see it on the camera. You can't really see it. That's currently how it looks. Uh, the scratch now it sort of just looks like a sort of scratch you get if you drove past like a bush and accidentally sort of went past a little thorn or something. Um, it doesn't look like a key scratch anymore, really. Um, it looks a lot better in person as well than it does on camera. The camera really picks it up. Um, the panel all together looks a lot better. It's now absolutely silky smooth. Now that it's been uh, like wet sanded, it's silky smooth. Feels really good. A lot of learning has gone into this. Um, I've learned a lot of errors that I've made, but I uh, can only do a better job next time, I guess.
And so with that, I'm going to end the video here in the back of the Mondeo for some reason. The light in the front is really bad. The sun's right there, so the glare was making it impossible to film. So I'm sitting in the back to finish off this video. Now, I know this video was short. I know it was a little bit boring, and I know it wasn't up to my usual standards, but I wanted to document this process. I was going to do it off camera, but I thought, I'm a YouTuber, so why not document the process? Maybe it'll help someone out. I wanted to learn how to do this myself, um, and the only way you can do it is by trying it. Now, I know I messed up on a couple of issues. Um, number one being that I went through the paint, through the actual ink blue paint on that uh, edge, and went down to the primer. Now, that has annoyed me a little bit, but you don't learn unless you make mistakes, and that was a mistake. Uh, number two is that I don't think I sanded enough. Uh, my arm was aching, and I was getting a little bit impatient, I'll be completely honest and I just wanted to get the buffer out and to see if the buffer would take the rest of the scratch out. Turns out it didn't, so I could have done with another maybe five minutes of uh, sanding the 3000 grit. That probably would have got the scratch completely out um, and you wouldn't have seen it anymore. Now, does it look better than it did? If I put it before and after what the scratch looked like before and what it looks like now, I think you will agree that it looks a lot better. Now it's just a really faint scratch and that I can live with for now. I might tackle it again at some point, um, but I've still got the rest to do. I've got to do both doors and the rear section as well. But obviously what I've learned today, I can apply to those things, uh, make sure I don't go too hard on the corners and also make sure I sand enough to get rid of the actual scratch itself. The first time doing something is always a learning process. So if you get it wrong the first time like I have, um, don't be discouraged. It is all a learning process. I hope you guys enjoyed the video nonetheless. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe for future content. And I'll see you in the next one.